Hello everyone, Eddie J on crypto here. I know there's a lot going on today. It's been a crazy day. We did a video earlier um, because there was there was normal stuff going on and throughout the day I just found more stuff to talk about. So right now we've got Intel, we have um, more blockchain games that are that are created in the past year. We've got Singapore and crypto ATMs, nothing good there. Um, Argo blockchain, um, a miner getting into um, an alternative space, meaning what they want to do is they started off with Argo blockchain to mine crypto. Now they've started Argo Labs. We'll get into that. Um, Tether, um, losing market share to USDC, and that's actually significant. Um, Tether has had a troubled past, and people are seem to be moving over to um, USDC. So that's a big deal. We'll get into that. Google is getting involved with, um, sorry about that phone calls all over the place. So Google is getting involved in the crypto game. So that's a big deal. Um, Stripe in Argentina, little hiccup there, not a big one, but a little bit of a hiccup. And I have a definition for you. FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. We'll get into that as well. The markets right now have not been good. Um, it's mostly red, and we'll get into those numbers later. Um, but let's talk about Grit Bitcoin mining company. Grid made a deal with Intel. Intel's making a huge push into crypto. And what they're doing is they are creating um, hardware specifically for Grid, but they're also creating um, new ASICs for mining crypto that's supposed to be more energy efficient given everything that we said yesterday about the eu or actually this morning about the eu cracking down on or wanting to crack down on proof of work versus proof of stake uh, coins and the difference is is that proof of work takes more takes more energy to do versus proof of stake which takes less so if intel was able to demonstrate um, a significant change or a sig significant decrease um, in power consumption and, ne and necessity, that could actually do something in that space. So we'll have to see. I don't have any numbers. They haven't released anything yet, but that's where they're headed. Um, something else to note, I know the market has sucked today. Straight up, the market has sucked. But when you have almost four hundred metaverse games on the market right now that's doubled that's nearly double what it was a year ago when you have that many games going on there right now and then you have microsoft and then you have other companies coming out with their games that's a major swing toward acceptance of Web 3.0 and crypto and crypto technologies because crypto coins are based on crypto technologies that have specific uses and utilities. So when you think about that, that's actually a big move. So they got the deal with Grid and they're also announcing how they would be able to do certain other things with other hardware that they're working on. So that's huge. Um, with that, we also have a major move in Singapore where their monetary authority has basically said that crypto is too much, right? It's not meant for the general public. And being that it's not meant for the general public, they're saying, well, we don't want any, you know, Bitcoin ATMs running around. So that's kind of a big deal. The reason why that's a big deal is now you have regulations that are supposed to come, you know, from different countries around the world, world, including the United States. You also have an issue where countries are literally saying cryptocurrency is not necessarily meant for the general public. Really? Okay. But crypto ATMs are often used to tr take fiat. What you do is you deposit your fiat. They trade it and they turn it into Bitcoin. And then you're able to send that Bitcoin to whomever you wanted to send it to. Like I said earlier, that's a big hit. If that was to take off, that's a big hit against MoneyGram and Western Union unless they change their games, right? So that's huge. Um, so, so that kind of news is a big deal. Um, 
I also noticed that Axie Infinity has taken a hit. They've taken a dip in terms of user space because of all of those new games. Well, they've taken a hit. They're, they're one of the biggest. They've taken a hit because everybody's still exploring all the games. And I'm just wondering what would happen in a year if Call of Duty was a, was a Web3, you know, or was its own metaverse in a year, or, you know, year, two years. What does that do to all the other games that are out there considering certain games that Activision brings to the table and certain games that Microsoft already has have huge communities? So if they have those huge communities and those commun they help those communities move over and accept Web 3.0, because all, we're already saying, well, Web 3.0 is being accepted in so many different ways all around the world. It's, you, I can almost say that it's being adopted faster than Web 2.0. E-commerce? What would you do without e-commerce? Everybody knows Amazon. I'm just saying. Um, so that's a, that's a big deal. Argo Blockchain, major crypto miner, has taken 10% of their assets and put it into a blockchain, their own blockchain company that they're using as their innovation arm. And that means 10% of those assets are going here and they're going to be focused on the metaverse and decentralized finance applications. So that's a big deal. So you have a crypto miner that's saying, okay, we're, we're still a miner, but there's all this other stuff that we can get involved with. That is actually a very big deal because that's a lot of money to put behind a, a company like that. So you can see that they're not just handling what's going on now with mining, but they're also looking at what's to come in the future and how they can invest in the future and move forward. And that's a significant amount of money to invest in the future. A miner, miners have big money, really big money. Um, when you look at uh, Zero Hedge, which is something else, first re actually first reported by Zero Hedge, um, Google is getting into the game. Full stop. So buried in the news of Microsoft buying Activision, Blizzard, uh, you have Google that's entering the game. They're testing out a wallet where people would actually you know, be able to save their digital assets. But the big deal is that that pilot program is a lead up to their deal with Andreessen Horowitz. And that is all about a metaverse play. So of course, they're going to test out a digital wallet. Google being the size that it is with all the money that they have, that can spell a lot of trouble for a lot of people, a lot of people. So think of any other wallet that's out there. Imagine, you know, here's MetaMask. Imagine if Google came out with their own wallet and it automatically gets installed, you know, in Chrome. Wow. Just right there, you're, you're just sitting there kind of going, oh, so there's MetaMask, there's Cytomask, there's all those other browser-based wallets that you'd have to contend with. And considering that they're on a lot of desktops in the world, a lot of the phones in the world, they're already embedded. So if they were to flip on a wallet, that would be major, major, major news. So look out for that because they're running the, pro the pilot program right now. And we'll get into what a wallet is for some of the people that are watching my videos that don't know what a wallet is. That's actually where you store your money. So that can be you're, you've got an app on your phone or you've got an app attached to your browser that would actually hold your cryptocurrency assets, whether they be cryptocurrencies, coins, or NFTs. And we can get into that a little bit later about what a wallet is, what you can do with a wallet, the different kinds of wallets. And I did cover a little bit of that a little bit earlier in one of my other videos, and you can go there and find that. So that could be a big help. We're not married to any wallet. I use certain wallets for certain things and other wallets for other things. So I wanted to get involved with NFTs and it's a really low cost way to mine or mint, sorry, to mint an NFT using the Solana platform on FTX. So what did I do? I got myself an FTX wallet, well, kind of a wallet because FTX is, a, is an exchange. So you have a wallet on their exchange but you're not actually holding your crypto. They're holding crypto for you. A real wallet, you get the security keys and you are in full control of your crypto. 
It's just that when you hold your crypto on an exchange, it's easier for you to trade with your crypto to get other crypto or to cash out and get whatever fiat you have that you're attached to. So that's a big deal. But that's huge news. And it, like I said, it got buried in that Microsoft's, if, once this deal goes through, it would be Microsoft's largest purchase. And it's an all cash purchase, $68.7 billion. Previous to that, their largest purchase was LinkedIn. And that was in the 20s. Now imagine that. I'm just talking about it like, oh, is this in the 20s? 20 something billion. Ah, not a big deal. It's because this deal is almost three times. So imagine if it was 20, this is 68, give or take, you're within the realm of a multiple of their formerly largest deal. So that's crazy. So that's something to think about. Um, Stripe is supposed to be going into Argentina, and they are. Tiny little glitch. So they won't be able to do anything with Bitcoin. Rather, you won't be paying anything with Bitcoin. You can use a stable coin and they, they chose USDT, which is Tether. Cool. So you're still kind of in the cryptocurrency space. Tether is tied to the dollar. But the problem is, is that if you deposit BTC, what will wind up happening is, is they will flip that to Tether. And that's got a few people annoyed. So we've got to kind of see how that shakes out and what really happens. And that could be because there's a little bit of pushback against Bitcoin in the country. Does that, is that going to stay? Like, how is that going to work? Not sure yet. Again, got to wait, wait for the dust to settle and see how that goes. Um, last point, and this is kind of like the bonus point. You'll see a lot of people talking about, oh, crypto's dead. It's going to die. It's going to dip. It's going to. Do your own research. Just do your own research. There's so many real news sources out there. There are so many good analysts out there that are really looking at crypto. And if you look at crypto right now, yes, it was red for the day. We are, again, still within a particular range. We're just moving. Just crypto is moving within that range. Right? So when was it? Yesterday, I was up on, on Polygon. Um, or the day before I was up on Polygon, if I'd have taken that, taken that win today when they were down, I'd have been able to buy back in and so on and so forth. So it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish uh, with your investments and the timing and everything else, just like any other investment. But crypto is here to stay. There are too many long term moves that companies are making, that people are making for it to go anywhere. So it's just a matter of Everything that goes up must come down, but then again, everything that goes down is eventually going to go back up. It's just a matter of when. So if you have questions, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to get your notifications because I still haven't found out um, what time I'm going to be releasing videos like today. I released a video earlier today and I'm releasing a video tonight. So special day, just a lot of stuff going on, again, to show the longevity you know, the outlook for, you know, for cryptocurrency, I'm still in the game. You know, we shouldn't hang up yet because I didn't do my job. And what is that job? It's right. We should take a peek. So before we take a look at the portfolio, let's just take a look at the coins all the way around. And there aren't that many coins that are doing well. See all that? It's all red. All red. Not such a pretty day. Not such a pretty day at all. Um, very few tokens are actually doing well, so you pay attention to that, what's doing well. We were just talking about stacks yesterday and what happened today. They took a 15% dive, and they had positive news yesterday. So everything across the board, or almost everything across the board is taking a hit. Um, so it's just a matter of when is everything going to go back up? I wish I could tell you. I don't know. Loop ring stayed steady, but still red for seven days, 30 days. So it really depends on what, you know, what's going on right there. I think, I honestly have to say, I think what's going on is eventually, again, things have taken a dive, things are going to go back up. As a matter of fact, you know what we should do? We should take a look at the fear index. Because the fear index tells you from the retail perspective, what people are feeling right now. So you've got a clump of fear, right? The fear index, you're at 24, which has decreased because it started. it's starting to get a little bit better. But you've got a clump. And if you look at this, 
clump, rose up a little bit, clump, rose up a little bit, clump, but here's a bigger clump, took a little bit, and then took off. Normal, normal things, took a dive, got a clump, started taking off. Here's another one. Big clumps, a little bit, little clump, little bit up. Here's another time, and I'm thinking, like I said, when you when you compress a spring, eventually it's going to release. And I think we're at that time where we're really close to releasing with so much positive news going on. Just have to look to see what's what's going to happen next. That'll just release that spring and have everything pop up. That's what I'm expecting. I'm not a financial advisor. This is how I want these. This is some of the information that I use to manage my own personal portfolio and to manage my businesses because all of the businesses that I own, we're getting involved in crypto. Our web hosting platform, you'll be able to accept cryptocurrencies as payment. That's just straight up. So this is how I go about doing that research. What coins do I like? Um, what kind of utility do they have? What's their market cap? Is it over a billion dollars? Is it under a billion dollars? Is it between a billion and two billion? And then is it over two billion? This is a piece of that information. And this is what I strongly advise you do is do your own research. Don't listen to the FUD. Again, that's fear, uncertainty, and um, that's the last one, doubt. Um, don't pay attention to FUD. Don't let FUD guide you. And here's the other one that nobody ever says when they talk about FUD. It's just, ah, oh, don't pay attention to FUD. No, don't pay attention to overly positive people either. Do your own research, collect your own information, and then make your own decisions. So that's what we have on the coins. Let's go check out our portfolio. It's nothing pretty. Again, look at that portfolio. We're down four, four, over 4%. Four that's ugly. It's told only 269 bucks almost 270 bucks, but still, that's an ugly place to be, and that's not where I want to be, except that I know that Matic's going to shoot back up. I know that uh, Crypto.com is going to shoot back up. It's just a matter of time before they shoot back up. I mean, just look at how far away they are from their all-time highs. As a matter of fact, that's your homework. I want you to go to Live Coin Watch, perform a search on a, you know, on a crypto. Let's look at, uh, let's look at Crypto.com. Do exactly what I'm doing, and you start looking. Look at that. Here's their all-time high, 95 cents. Where are they right now? 43 cents. So you've got a lot of upside. Crypto.com, that's right, Crypto.com Arena where the Lakers play. So you've got a lot of positive news behind this company. They've got a lot of advertising behind this company. They're doing everything correctly. Just the market is holding it back a little bit. So do your research. You know, as a matter of fact, let me go back to that screen. Scroll down, look at the numbers. Where are they an hour, 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, 90 days, a year? Look at all of that. How much is circulating in supply? You know, 24 hour range. Look at each one of those things so that you can start to pay attention to what's actually going on with that particular crypto. Something else that I'm paying attention to is what markets is that particular crypto purchasable in what markets meaning what exchanges can you buy it right and then what can you use to buy it can i use bitcoin like in this one i can use bitcoin against it i can use us dollar against it i can use usdc i can use usdt the more markets that they're in the more pairings that they have the more established that that the coin is and you can see that it's probably a, a much stronger coin and that's okay then you look to see what well, where can I buy it? Here's the where. Here are the exchanges. Then take a look at this. Read it. Understand what the coin is about. This, this coin backs up an exchange. It's a new exchange, but that's okay. Well, new were exchange. Coinbase is one of the oldest in the United States. But this is what you're talking about. This is what you want to do your research on. And then as you do all that, scroll back up. And you see all these links right here? It's going to take you to more information about that coin. The more places where I can find information, people are talking about it. There's chatter about it. As well as I can click this one and I can open up their website 
and I can do a little bit more research about what they're doing. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, everybody knows this guy. Whatever. Um, skip that. This is what you're looking for. You're looking for what is this thing all about? What are they doing? What are they all about? Why is it important? Why should I be paying attention? That's why. Okay? They have their own NFT market. That's going to be a big deal as you start to look at what you can do, what you can't do. We're actually testing out NFTs on FTX. I'm not going to show you the NFT that we uploaded that we're going to be selling. It's coming soon. Um, we're just testing out to see what their process is, and that should be a lot of fun. Anyway, we'll get back to you in another video. We'll start to break down uh, you know, some exchanges, some wallets, how they work, what they mean, what you can do with them, what you can't do with them, and why you should have more than one. Yes, more than one wallet. You don't keep all your money in your own back pocket, right? A wallet would be considered a bank, even your drawer, you know, a safe in the wall, a savings account, CDs, each one of these things, think of those as wallets. They all they each have their different uses and their different reasons for use. All right. Eddie J on crypto. Hope all is well with you and yours. Enjoy the rest of your day.